in the ring. Great back. I thought that it was a very close fight. It could have gone either way. I think Damonte's legs are really good. I think that he did some really smart adjustments. You know, I thought the other kid, White, started out really strong. I thought Wright, White won most of the first round, but then Damonte turned it around. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, that was a very, very close fight. Either guy could have gotten the decision. I think it was well earned. I think we're going to see more of Anthony Damonte in the open division in the future, and I could see him being a pro someday. Beautiful. Lou, I see. Comes in over here. It's going to be a next job for you, sir. I love doing this, man. Someone should hire me. I think I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. The last year that it got, the dinner fell. Brother. Now it's in the year. Now it's in the year. Anthony, you got those gloves. Anthony. Anthony. Oh, Anthony. Wait, Pat. I love you. That's not the spider in the year. Hit first boxing.com. We in the house. Anthony DeMonte, man. Congratulations. I know you want to get out real quick. This will be real quick, man. Why are you changing, man? We do this interview. It's all good, big boy. I mean, in your division, there's about, what, 82 fighters in, the, in your weight class that was competing for this Golden Gloves. I mean, talk about this. Yes, it started with 82 fighters in the, in the division. So I knew that I had a long journey ahead of me, but... After I won the first, I, after we won the first one, and the second one, my confidence just kept kept rising, and I knew I was gonna pull it out. And I I, I fought six fights in total to to, have, to get the golden glove, so I feel like I really earned it, and deserved it. I mean, tell the world how you got involved in the world of boxing. I got involved in boxing for I was a football player and get to get in shape for football at uh, 12 years old. But then once I walked into the gym and. And, had, and uh, did a boxing workout. I fell in love with it and quit all my other sports. And, and, uh, and then I, all I wanted to do was uh, box and be a fighter. So 12 years old, man, you start boxing, man. I mean, you're in the amateurs. How many amateur fights you got all together? I have uh, 16 amateur fights and 16 wins. I'm uh, undefeated as an amateur. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it uh, stays that way for a while. I mean, you still got to be in high school, yeah? Yeah, I'm a senior in high school. This is my last year in high school. Last year in high school. I mean, your dream. Olympics. I mean, what is your dream? I mean, tell the world. Well, my dream, I want to do it one step at a time. Right now, I won the gloves, and I want to turn it open and go into all uh, national tournaments and get all that good experience and come back next year and hopefully win the open golden gloves. And uh, the big goal ahead is the 2016 Olympics. Up in Brazil. Brazil. Rio de Janeiro, man. As they say, you know, USA, we got to bring the gold home. Got to bring that gold back to the U.S., man. I mean, that's that's the mission, man. I mean, the young youth out there. I mean, tell on that, man. Tell the youth, man, out there what they need to get involved with, man. Because, I mean, there's not too many kids out there in the world of boxing, man. I mean, when you're in the gym, I mean, you see a lot of young cats in the gyms where you at? Yeah, I see. Uh, when I see a new kid walk into the gym, the first thing that goes to your head is if he's gonna stick with it because boxing's not like every other sport, like baseball and football. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, you have to put your whole life into it. It's not part of your life. You know what I mean? So there's only there's only very few out there that could could have that lifestyle and could be a fighter. No doubt. Now in the pros, man, who do you look up to in the pros? I look up to guys like Manny Pacquiao and uh, why Manny Pacquiao? Why Manny? Because I look up to Manny because he's humble, 
and he once he gets in the ring, he's an animal. He has a great work that work ethic, and uh, and uh, and the main thing is that he uses his legs because that's what uh, my trainer Pat Bashan trains me to do the most is to move and and be a, a technical fighter and not get hit. Not be there to get hit, make your opponent miss. That's what they say, the sweet science of boxing, man. You know what I mean? You got to do it. Anthony, I know you got to get back to your family. You got a major, major family, though. A big fan base out there. They love yeah. the hell out of you, man. You won an amazing fight. What's, the, what's that uh, statue, man? Show the world what you got here. Mark Billy, the award, best fighter in the novice division. A couple last words for your fans worldwide. Yeah, I just want to thank everyone that came out to support me. All over 300 people, I couldn't be more blessed and thankful for the following and, and uh, all the supporters I have around me. Thank how can, you. How can they follow you? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? Instagram, Anthony DeMonte, A-N-T-H-O-M-Y-D-E-M-O-N-T-E, -E, one, one word in uh, Instagram. Same thing with Twitter. HitFirstBoxing.com, we out, man. Thank you, sir. Keep doing your thing. Thank you.